What's up, my dudes? Valk here. And today, I'm going to be talking about the esports competition that was held earlier today. Um, I want to first, before I say anything, I'm not, I don't want anybody to harass the people who competed. I don't want anybody to really, you know, shoot this down, because while I do think it was a decent idea, it really did miss the mark. And what I mean by that is it could have been so, so much better. Uh, basically, if you guys don't know what happened, there was a Colgate esports event over the well over the weekend, well earlier today, where it was a bunch of UK colleges came together and did various events like trying to Kaya Bridge across a small piece of water while people shoot the uh, Kaya Bridge with amber fire arrows. It was uh, it was something. Now. I'm not going to harp too long about it because we all know it was really copium. It was it, like I said, I I think the whole point was to not take it seriously and have fun with it, but it still just reminded you of how little there is to actually do in Genshin. If Hoyo wants to actually make an esports event, here's my advice, Hoyo. If anybody listens to this, please feel free to organize this because it's been done before. It's proven to succeed. It's actually cool to watch. Give everybody C6 R5 accounts. Maybe put restrictions on what they can and cannot take into Abyss, but have them just go clear floor 12. Whoever clears the fastest wins. It's literally that simple. It could be a really, really cool event, but because what we got was absolute cope. It was, it was something else, basically. I personally did not like it at all. I tried to sit through it. I sat through it as long as I could. Not to mention all the delays with the thing. Like, there were so many delays, so many technical issues. It's nothing to default of the people who are participating. It just happens with live events. So, even whenever the event was supposed to start at 11.30, I believe, or it could have been starting a little bit later, the event actually didn't start somewhere until around, like, 12.30, an hour later. And, actually, no, I think it actually took about an hour and a half to two hours to start, actually. Yeah, it took about an hour and a half to two hours to start. It was really rough the entire time. They could have done so much better. But like I said, Hoyo, if you ever want to do that, you want to do it actually, you want people to take it seriously, you want people to actually enjoy themselves, please, please go ahead and just do a floor 12 Abyss speedruns. Give everybody C6R5 accounts and give them good artifacts. They gave everyone C6R5 accounts for this event. But the artifacts, you could tell by looking at the damage were non-existent the artifacts were straight up gone um people were doing with c6 r5 gone users doing like 10k a charge shot and i'm sure there's free to play in here or watching this video that are going to be like i do more than that it's like yeah yeah you do and they had a c6 r5 gone you doing 10k a charge shot there's just no way please give them good artifacts give them c6 r5 characters make it so it's a strategy thing instead of a uh instead of a luck thing or a whale thing but it would be really really cool to see something like that actually and i think not i don't think genshin esports ever should exist but i do think genshin has a place where it can put on an actual event like they were trying to and make it somewhat successful and make it entertaining to watch because like i said golden house has done it 1010 has done it there's been several uh showcases of exactly what i'm talking about it succeeded it's really fun to watch but that's basically all I got for today's video. Thank you guys for watching, as always. Hopefully, if you guys suffered through that event like I did, you got something from it, and that's that it could work, actually, if they did it right. Anyways, catch you guys on the next one. Peace.